Today I'm just going to give you a quick idea on how you can use sand in your paintings. What you want to do is get a container and you want to pour some sand in the container. You then want to add some paint. Add the colour paint that you want to add. I think I'll add a bit of this and a bit of that. And what that does, it thickens up the paint and it creates beautiful texture in your artwork. So you've got a nice, beautiful texture. You can add more sand to thicken it up. I'm using poster paint as an example because it's a very sort of watery type of paint so I wanted to kind of show you what it's like to add sand to it. See it's lovely, it's thick. Okay and you can hear how grainy it is. Now you can use the paint. how lovely and thick it is, it's beautiful. I prefer using acrylics with, with sand. I just think it holds it really well. You can use sand as the top on top of paint. So once you've painted, you can just sprinkle a bit of sand on the top and then kind of add it to the surface. It's a good idea to add some glue maybe to it if you plan to completely do it on the surface like this just so it doesn't fall off. And if you do it like that you can see you can see parts of the sand and then parts of the paint. So you've got a bit of both there whereas here you don't see the sand. Here you see a little bit of the sand on the surface. Like I said, you can add sand to the surface. So just put some glue on the surface and you can just sprinkle some sand. If you wanna create different colored sands, what you can do is just mix it with a bit of paint. Um, not like the texture one, with this one, you just want to add kind of a drop of paint. With the textured one, you add a lot of paint. With this one, you just add a drop of paint. So it remains sand, but it just kind of turns into colored sand. And this is lovely with kids. You can just turn the sand into different colors and you can get them to kind of sprinkle it onto the surface of their art piece so it's good fun so it's remained like sand and then you just sprinkle it onto the surface just make sure the surface has a lot of glue so that the sand does not fall off If you would like, you can even add on top of the sand, so you can add paint on the sides or on the top, and it creates that lovely sort of texture. It's very messy work, so you'll get it, you might get it all over the place. This is a piece that I might have shown you before, and you can see I've used the sand to create texture. So it's really, really nice. Um, you can see it creates a beautiful kind of Rainy texture, it's lovely. How lovely the grainy texture is. And you might add, decide to add a bit more to create a kind of thicker look. There you go. Or you might decide to use a little bit just to create a kind of grain to the piece. Here's another one that I use sand in. You can see that. It's lovely and you can see the grain. 
this beautiful texture, grainy texture on the surface. It's really nice and you can add some nice lovely finishes to your art pieces by doing that. So. 